There was little chance of sleep, but for most, spending the night outside in freezing conditions seemed like the safer option. Even those whose homes are still standing are afraid of what could come next. We're hearing rumours that other big earthquakes are expected to happen. We're sleeping here so we can stay safe and quickly run to safety if needed. What if an earthquake comes again and we don't have the chance to run? We'll be buried alive. Me and my family haven't gone back to the room since the earthquake happened this afternoon. We are too scared. Hospitals are struggling to cope with the number of dead and injured. Overcrowded, many are running out of supplies and space. Treatment areas now extend outside of hospital walls. These are the lucky few who've been able to get help. Responding to the humanitarian crisis, disaster teams from around the world are now on their way. America is one of a number of countries that's deployed aid. The UK, countries from the European Union and China have also sent help. As the search for survivors continues, rescuers know they're running out of time. With every hour that passes, the death toll continues to increase. So far, a lack of equipment has made it difficult to access below ground. These are now critical hours when it comes to finding signs of life. Much of Nepal's cultural heritage is now in ruins. The centuries-old temples and towers of the Kathmandu Valley, a World Heritage Site, have been reduced to rubble. While there's no escaping the destruction in built-up areas, in Nepal's more remote parts, the picture is far less clear. The extent of damage in villages at the earthquake's epicentre is still unknown. Landing in New Delhi, two Indian Air Force planes were called to help the search in northern India, where the quake's tremors left a number of people dead. A reminder that this earthquake's impact reaches far beyond Nepal's borders. Damage to the country's infrastructure is likely to create further difficulties in reaching the affected areas. What's now urgently needed is sanitation, shelter and medical support. Harriet Hadfield, Sky News.